I'm staying single forever. <laughs> I'm staying out of right, love triangles. Out of I want no part of a love triangle. Who would you rather have help you bury a dead body? Isabella or Debbie? Not to be biased because I'm Isabella, but I just feel like maybe it's a... I, I would say Isabella too. I feel like Debbie would be like just way in over her head. Yeah. Like she would try and help, like if it was like her daughter or something, but she doesn't know enough. She's, she's not thorough enough. There's nothing like the help from your mom. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I definitely feel like having the support of her there mm -hmm. is great. I wish you would have told me. This is too much for you to carry on your own. But I feel like Isabella could maybe like... She's gonna make it happen. Yeah, she can make and it happen. And effectively and efficiently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to get our story straight. Sure I love that we're years. like really thinking about this as if we're gonna I know, like, right? actually <laughs> bury a dead body. Um, um, Debbie and Isabella. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you rather have dress you in 90s fashion for a week? Luke or Jeff? Neither. Neither. <laughs> like, Neither. Who it's has Jeff. better style in the show? Neither of them. Neither of them. No, I'm sorry. All the boys' have... style. I'm like the cargo no. shorts. I'm gonna go. Ice. I'm gonna go with Jeff though because I feel like he's a little bit more in touch yes. with. Yeah. Like you know, he's a he's like a film buff. Like I feel like he could. Yeah. He has the more creative mind. Luke mm -hmm. in fashion is just no. Have y'all no. seen what he wears? No. no offense to Luke. No offense to Luke. But like, some of the fits are a little. It's giving cargo shorts and flip flops every day. Like yeah. Let's let's step Switch it, up. it up. You know. Three, two, one. Who would you rather throw a Y2K party with? Sheriff Meyer or Ned? Ned. Who wants the cops at your party? Nobody wants the cops at the party. We have to go. Sheriff Meyer's here. Oh, wait, wait, this is a Y2K party? Like a New yeah. Year's Eve party? Or? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ned. Then Ned, yeah. I mean, he's a little, little off his rocker, yeah. but, he'll but have, he knows how to have a good time. Thanks. I don't get a lot of visitors here. Yeah, and he was definitely, he was already hype about Y2K happening. Yeah, but he was scared about Y2K. Like, he was like, Yeah, you're right. I feel like the world's gonna like end. A, like he might be actually like a, a downer, little... if you yeah. think about it. Real irreversible disaster is mere hours away. But maybe Sheriff Meyer, maybe Sheriff Meyer needs to let loose. Maybe he needs, you know. I just wouldn't trust being my authentic self. That's fair. Sheriff Meyer. That's fair. You know? That's fair. So I'm still gonna have to go. With Let's that. go, Ned. Yeah. He'll keep it interesting. Who would you rather have help you destroy all evidence in a crime? Megan or Steve? Steve. Steve's got power. Yeah. He's got money and he's got power. Yeah, I agree. Just one call and it's and he can and he can cover it up. It. Yeah. Yep. So you get rid of the tapes. I take care of Brent, and the story ends here. I mean, Megan's got skills too. Let's not forget. Yeah. That she's an amazing coder. She's just also like a teenage girl with no resources. Who would you rather have as your beer pong partner, Luke or Parker? You go. you go. No, I'm, I'm thinking I was going to say Parker, mm -hmm. but then I, I was like, Griffin was kind of killing it. Yeah. I'm he like, was. That's... We're going to crush this. Hell yeah, we are. <laughs> if we're so, talking about their characters, like, do you think Parker's actually, like, secretly amazing at beer pong? I mean, Luke was, Luke, Luke was one of the Is he good in the scene? I can't remember. So here we go. So close. Luke, the character, was, was not making it, it but Griffin, Griffin was, was making it. Got you. Yeah. So then not Luke. So then no. not Luke. I'm gonna say that Parker's like secretly an amazing beer pong yeah. partner. Who would you rather be stuck in a love triangle with? Brent and Parker or Luke and Megan? So like I'm the third in their like love triangle. <laughs> Am I the one who's like home wrecking in this scenario? The two of them are a couple and I'm home wrecking one of them. Okay, got it. <laughs> Megan and Luke? I feel like Brent and Parker are just, they don't make sense as a couple. There's plenty of my meat to go around. Nobody wants your meat. Parker would like kill you. Like, yeah, Parker, I mean, like, she literally tried said, to she said she, would, she was gonna shave, shave her head. head. Yeah. yeah. If, if my best friend slept with my boyfriend, I'd like shave her head. It's and in then the show. Brent just seems insufferable. And I don't want like, Brent anyways. Of, like, You're a freaking predator. I love it when you call me names. I don't want I don't that. Want I'd go for Parker over Brent. That's what I'm saying. Like I just. But I, okay, in that case, <laughs> in that case, if I'm home wrecking and like going after Parker, then maybe I do, do wanna, want to. You know, I'm not gonna go after myself, Megan. I don't that's true. really particularly want to date Luke. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, yeah. So too. Right. Like, yeah. <sighs> this is tough. That's. I'm staying single forever. <laughs> I'm staying out of right, love triangles. Out of I want no part of a love triangle. Who would you rather have as your long distance pen pal? Isabella or Jeff? 
Isabella. Isabella. She's got the good stories. Yeah. She's and she's like, also, like, she's consistently writing to Lisa. So I would yeah. say, like, she would stay on it. Mm -hmm. and she would not forget to write you back. And they would just be extremely entertaining. I broke my leg in three places while skiing in the Swiss Alps. Yeah. She'd be like, oh, I just partied with this band in Ibiza. Right, yeah. Or I just, like, did this and jumped off a cliff or whatever, you know? Yeah. She'd be entertaining. Agreed. Who would you rather host a true crime podcast with? Debbie or Sheriff Meyer? Sheriff, Sheriff Meyer. Because he, he would have all the juicy details. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he'd help us like unpack the evidence mm -hmm. and like come up with theories. Like he'd be really good at that. Yes. Yeah. Literal job. There's an abrasion on his ear, suggested by a gunshot wound. Debbie would Debbie, Debbie it'd be fun. Yeah, it would be like a like for fun type of thing. Do you like, feel like Debbie's like a bit of an airhead sometimes? Jack? Debbie. What's going on? I think not Katie little, Strickland. I'm talking about. Debbie I here. think that she's a little naive, mm -hmm. Lily. But I think that especially because she's put so much trust into Megan, mm -hmm. that she just always assumes the best out of people, mm -hmm. out of everybody. Yeah. Who would you rather break into someone's house with, Brent or Steve? Hmm. Steve. Steve. Yeah. I feel like number one, he knows so much, especially if we're breaking into a house in Chatham. He knows so much about Chatham. He knows all the ins and outs of it. He knows and how those security systems exactly. work, probably because he has one. Yep, and if you get caught, I feel like because of his authority and just, mm -hmm. you know, how people view him, it would he would be able to spin it. Mm -hmm. He would be like, oh, I was going to visit you. like, Or he would be able to like yeah. call up the right person and like, make it go away easily, where Brent would have to go through Steve yeah. and able to fix everything. So yep. you just get, like, the solution would come by, you know, Steve quicker. would just be smarter about yeah. it. Yeah. Brent's just too reckless. I'm done cleaning up your mess. Dad. He would just, Art, like, yes. destroy everything and leave traces behind mm -hmm. and evidence behind, and it would just be a disaster. Yep. Would you rather have keep your deepest, darkest secret, Isabella or Megan? Mm. <laughs> um, keep your deepest, darkest secret. I'm okay. There's nothing I wouldn't do for my girl. I can't lie. Sorry. I I'm know. Gonna have to I say know. Isabella. You're gonna say Isabella. Only because. Listen. I mean, she couldn't even keep what I, like what Isabella said to herself about the whole ride or die thing. You stole her line, word for word, okay. bar for bar. Okay, like, okay. You know? Megan, yes. You're, You're the, the most important, important person in this world to me. You're I don't, right. I feel She's, like Megan would kind of just tell, she would tell Luke out of all, and Luke yeah. runs his mouth. Yeah, it, yeah. it would then get You're out. You're so know? right about that. Yeah. You're like, so right about Megan that. Megan wouldn't tell everybody. Nothing stays secret in this town for long. I mean, Isabel's keeping that secret about the, the, the tape. tape. I'm not going to let that stupid tape destroy your future. She's a loyal friend. She'd yeah. keep your secrets. Agreed. I'm gonna go Isabella too. Sorry, yeah. Megan. Love you, Sorry. girl. You're not you're not trustworthy enough. <laughs>